You don't look too happy, Theron. What is it? They were mounting a resistance. Locals, Imperials, they had resources, a plan, a base of operations. Miot was arranging to smuggle weapons. Gone. They're all gone. The Star Fortress over Bathawui vaporized every last trace, every last rebel, and then just moved on like it didn't matter anymore. There must have been collateral damage in that strike. They'll need our help. Beywanego is reaching out through back channels trying to assess the situation. We've barely got enough supplies for our own people. The Star Fortresses are battle stations, deadly and pervasive. Arkin's way of keeping the galaxy pliant. So many worlds we can't even contact because of these things. There are dozens, maybe hundreds. We tried everything to learn about their inner workings. Weaknesses, nothing. And now this. Right now they're suppressing, but that's just to bide their time. I feel it, Commander. Arkin's got a plan for those things. The kind of plan you don't recover from. Point me to a star fortress. I'll go. You'll go. And do what? Die? Without the faintest clue of what we're up against, it's a massive risk. All right. We have to do something. I'll go too. Try to make heads or tails so we know how to deal with them. Anything else you can tell me about the Star Fortresses? <sighs> Afraid not. Maybe after this trip, if we survive it. If it isn't the Alliance, Commander. Out here, slumming it with the Imperial trash. Just a little joke, my Jedi friend. Must be as weird for you as it is for me, all this working together. Look, we heard what you're getting up to. The massive risk you're taking for everyone. No one I respect more right now than you. Everything's prepped. Theron and the little fella are ready. Go kill us a Star Fortress, Commander. Ready when you are. Setting a course for Alderaan. You think I'm stuffy me out? You're in for a treat. Coming out of hyperspace. Miat, stealth maneuver 36. Get us in nice and close. You're in a service duct over one of the main observation towers. You should find a lift system in there that'll get you deeper inside. Not sure what's at the heart of this thing. Keep your guard up. I'll be in touch. Warning, intruder. Ephemeris vigilance protocols enacted. <laughs> Looks like you found a hub of activity. Stay on your toes. Getting some big power readings from the levels below you. You should look into it. I'm seeing here the Eternal Empire is placing locals into force conscription. Not much you can do, I guess. Thought you should know. Reserve units deployed. Must be where all those sky troopers are coming from. Try not to wake anything up down there. Intrusion on Sky Trooper production level. Praetorian unit deployed. Hope they don't start mass producing those things. Great work. Miot says the power source is just a bit below you. A couple levels, maybe. More of those blasted Sky Trooper pods. Arkin loves those things, doesn't he? All 
All units, intercept and neutralize. Okay, you're in Power Central now. We need to do something about Ephemeris. See if you can patch me into its data cores. Ephemeris alert. Data center breach in progress. Data center defense protocols enacted. All units, respond. Security units ineffective. System uplink initiated. I'm reading this right. Ephemeris beamed its core computing into one of those units. Interesting move. Creepy, but interesting. It might give us a tactical advantage, actually. Taking it out could disrupt system protocols for a bit. Rotating cipher algorithm. Miat, give me a hand here. Rebooting in. Warning. Ephemeris data core compromised. Secondary core engaged. <laughs> Neural feedback overload. Rebooting. Oh, they've got a rotating cipher algorithm. Miat, give me a hand here. Ephemeris alert. Secondary data core failure. System failure. Deploying emergency backup unit. Engaging combat algorithm. Classification, night. Target ability, insufficient. Ephemeris alert. Ghost mode enacted. Nice work, Commander. Now we'll bypass that shield and... Welcome to my Star Fortress, Outlander. It will also serve nicely as your tomb. Can't get at the shield. Something remote. Have to rethink this. Mia, get a lift open. I've been sifting through everything you pulled from the Star Fortress, starting to get a better picture of what we're facing here. What are we looking at? <sighs> like I thought, the scope of all this is... Actually, forget what I thought. It's beyond anything I imagined. This friendly guy is part of a special order of knights called Exarchs. You kind of met one. Best I can tell, one of them commands each Star Fortress. Some were with Valkorion and Arkin when I first arrived on Zakul. Yeah, they've been around a long while. Outside of that, there's not much to say. They have their own ways and agenda. Secretive. All Senya said is that they're devoted to the Eternal Throne and she'd never, ever want to cross one. Other big piece I was able to work out. The fortress is powered by a massive sun generator, like on Zakul. We could use it to destroy the station, but according to energy readings, the reactor's protected by a remote bunker on the planet's surface. So, we take out the bunker, then the reactor. Yeah, that's tall order. I mean, not impossible, but we need ground forces and we don't have the personnel, unless... Miat's been pulling together reports of distress calls, skirmishes, the idea being we'd eventually follow up on them. <laughs> Here, these are a start. A handful of worlds under the threat of a star fortress, each with potential allies. I can talk to these people. Convince them our fight is worth the effort. Yeah, it'll take some doing. These people have problems of their own. They're not even thinking about Arkin or Zakul. You've got to prove that helping us is their best possible option, which it is. They just don't know it yet. I got this alliance together, didn't I? People love me. I hope you're right. Wait, who, Rockway? Why, Jay Jamie? 